Hey guys, welcome back to the last set review. I know some of you like these, some of you don't. So just letting you know it's the last review uh, for a set, at least for the holiday season. I put a renewed emphasis on sets because I think it's a great way to bring people in the hobby, especially during this time of year. This MSRP is for $475. It's an in-scale set. It's the Bachman Golden Spike digital set, and it comes with actual two locomotives, so you can run two locomotives at the same time and lots of track, digital command and control controller. So, and you've got a 34 by 24 oval with a turnout and sighting. So let's take a look at what you get for an MSRP of 475. One thing I do want to mention as we unbox this is that the MSRP is just a number. There are heavy discounts, especially on Bachman items. So you get discounts that can bring this down into the low twos. So don't let the MSRP scare you necessarily. Just something I always mention because people always start blowing me up on my message, messages about why is this set so expensive, etc., etc. So as you can see, you've got the track here. You've got a turnout switch, digital command and control controller here, two locomotives. We'll take a closer look at all this and unbox it next. <laughs> Now since this is a set, we're going to take some time to look at the components of the set, but I will say that I'm going to have to turn some light on and we won't be able to go into detail we go on normal reviews, which means I'll just be holding this in my hand and we'll look at all the different locomotives. This is a diesel locomotive, Union Pacific, comes in the set. You can see the detail in scale. You've got separate or you got handrails here. Everything else is pretty much molded in for the most part. Got Bachman easy easy make couplers and in scale on the locomotive. Fairly nice detail on the roof. My camera really has trouble when I show the locomotives this way, but the quickest way to get moved on for the set. The other locomotive, as you see here, is um, also a diesel switcher, Union Pacific as well, and the black and yellow scheme. You've got uh, mounted bell, mounted horn, separately applied windshield wipers on the back, and you have uh, Easy Mate couplers again. All the compartment detail on both those locomotives pretty nice and molded in. Then you have some cars. You have a box car, Union Pacific. Door opens and closes. Nice metal wheels. This door opens and closes. Got wedge there for a second. Real nice detail and print. Even a little ladder detail and brake wheel detail on the ends there. You can see that. And you've got a old style tank car. Nice detail as well with metal wheels. Easy make couplers. Separately applied grab irons and ladder. And last but not least, you've got the caboose. Again, metal wheels, easy make couplers. A little bit of uh, styrofoam stuck in there. I'll dislodge. There we go. And brake wheel detail on the end. You've got ladder detail on the end. So underbody detail as well. That is it for all the components. You've got the track you see here. You've got a bumper end turnout uh, oval with uh, curves and straights. 
we'll get all this set up. You've got your manual here with contents. So we'll get all this set up and ready to go. Quickly, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect the Easy Track. You line up the opposite tabs here. You can probably see a little better if I put my hand behind it. And then you line up the rail joiners. And you just slide it in, and it's connected just like that. Here's a quick aerial view of how the setup will be done once it's completely assembled here. You've got your oval, again 34 by 24, and you've got this little spur here with a switch track. Now there is a little manual switch here to switch the track. Right now I've got it straight obviously, but I want to show you some of the controller connections. So we're going to zoom in on that, take a look at the controller here. This is again a digital command and control controller so you've got DCC um, if you flip this around here this is for DC power this is to the wall outlet which is a simple plug such as this and this one here is just a simple audio jack plug that goes to the track and the other end is plugged in at the track right there and that is where you plug it in now there's an on off on the back you switch it on then you have power and you can control these two locomotives so I'm going to go ahead and do that next. So now we're running the set on number three which is the standard DCC controller. <clears throat> you can hit function with that on and do things like power headlights etc. So just different things. Um, one thing to note is both the locomotives this headlight does work when you hit F0, by the way, or F10, I should say. But both locomotives are programmed at number 3. So, I can't run them both at the same time. I'd have to reprogram this one. So, once you reprogram, you can change the function that's in the instructions. Or change the uh, address and then start moving this one out. But if I were to put this on right now, what you'll get is... It will go at the same direction and it will also have uh, power applied. And all the same commands as you see there. So you don't want that to happen, so make sure you do your programming. But digital command and control means you can operate more than one locomotive at one time by having one assigned to a different address and stop. Both of these, like I said, are number three out of the box. Now the switch here, you can flip the switch. And you can like park cars and the caboose in this case or whatever. Like you'll see everything go this way now. Go up to the bumper and stop. You could drop off cars or what have you. We'll go ahead and not do that. But I just want to show you simply how the switch works. It's a simple little switch on the side. You want to make sure you have it in the right way or it will derail. Another setup tip is make sure there's smooth transitions on the track. If there's any bumps, that means you probably didn't get the rail joiners connected just right, and that can cause derailments as well. All right, a little switcher locomotive is all ready to go here. Give him full blast. There you have the switcher going. Same controls as before, you've got headlight power. Turn the headlight on. There are no sounds in this one, so one and two would normally be sounds. But digital command and control allows you to operate, like I said, multiple locomotives, do multiple commands. If it had sounds, you could have sounds, but it doesn't. It's just got DCC, so you can turn the headlight on separately, etc. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that quick overview. Well, that's going to wrap up the review of the Bachman N-Scale Golden Spike Digital Command and Control set with two locomotives. Some rolling sock there. Hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you consider sets like these to help others get in the hobby or to get yourself in the hobby. It's a very fun hobby <clears throat> and it's a great pastime. It's something to take your mind off the day-to-day -day grind. So please consider sets uh, as a gateway to the hobby. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.